story. Hey, this is Blair Barnhart getting the tip of the week. You know, uh, a couple weeks ago you may have heard Jason talk about the epidemic we have with the rollover curb. Well, there you have it. There's the conduit, Jason, if you can zoom in on there. Jam full. I mean, that little one inch conduit is not letting the proper sheet flow come through here. As a result, the water comes out here in the road. But anyways, I don't want to dwell on this. It's just a it's good for the resident that lives here. It's bad for the county because we've got improper sheet flow. The water comes out here and you know the rest of the story. But come on over here, Jason. I told you guys about this in the pre-launch for IPMA Academy about how we do the best guesstimate for the age of the road. And I went through this with you on the whiteboard. Keep it simple, to keep it effective, to keep your learning curve moving along the way quickly and effectively will keep to those two particular software programs. In the pavement management arena, along the way, you'll be asked to guess, with your best guesstimate, the age of your last major rehabilitation. And during the pre-launch videos, I told you about a little trick that we have. If you look at the back of the hydrant, and it's 1956, and we look at the curb and gutter section and we see that it's been overlaid twice, let's just say. So here we have the original, what I would call the original rock and then maybe the original asphalt. Um, and we know that it was 1956 and you're looking at some bungalow ranch style houses Clearly the asphalt has, you know, you might have cored it. You might have come up with a core similar to this where you could clearly see that there had been, uh, there had been multiple uh, sequential overlays. So let's make the assumption here in this particular example that we've had two overlays and we think that those overlays were placed when people complained. Okay, let's face it, they weren't done on a timely basis. I'm sure it was subdivision, but let's just say that every 12 years, okay? So 1956 was a hydrant. So it probably went in here while the, the dirt was being done and the binder was being placed. There's two years went by before we topped it out. So there's, you might as well say 1958. Uh, if we add 12 years later, we put this overlay down, that would be trying to do the math on the fly here, so 58, 68, 70, 1970, and then we think 12 more years transpired, and we came back and we put one more overlay on top of this, but I want to show you the actual hydrant that we talk about. So on the back of this hydrant here, Jason, if you could zoom in right here, 1982. So I kind of, Jason and I, Leonard, we get here, we look at the age of the homes, and as I mentioned on the whiteboard earlier, so you think about 82 was the year the hydrant went in. It probably went in a year ahead of the subdivision. They put the rollover curb in. God bless America and the contractors love this curb. So 1982, uh, that puts the road about 1983. Clearly it's had one overlay. You can see here, this is the original asphalt right here, Jason. Would you agree? Yep. It's tacked down. Uh, we got a little spillage on the first layer. We've had an inch and a half overlay since then. Probably, uh, let's say 83, another 12 years. So Leonard, what's 83 plus 12? You have to use your calculator for that, 83? 95, 94, say. So let's call this road here, 19, what did I just 95. say? 95. 1995, <laughs> last M&R. IPMA, tip of the week. Thanks for joining us.